Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on full AP Diana in the jungle. For your best runes possible, you do want to go for Conquer at the moment, or you can run Electrocute. We have Conquer, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand, Free Boots, Cosmic with Attack Speed, AP, and Scaling Health. We're of course gonna start with our Q. For your build, typically green jungle item is best, and then you oftentimes will end up going for a Lucids or Sork Shoes. For our actual item build, which is a 59% win rate item build, pretty good for Diana considered she's not widely viewed as a high tier at the moment. You want to go for Nash, lets you solo dragons or just shred people down. And then second item, you want to go Lich Bane into a Rabadon. And we're going to pick up a Dark Soul along the way. I'm going to path away from York. He's probably just going to push Wave in. We want to get a ward down. I didn't see where any of them are. It looks like this guy's kind of starting in my jungle. It's kind of annoying. I really hate it when laners do that, when they come in late and ward. It's a kind of annoying thing, because that basically just means your laner is essentially AF AFK underneath turret. <laughs> Why their laner is doing something is what it is. Dyna clears come from her third auto. Bunch of bonus damage, especially against monsters, 300% bonus damage. Should have actually smited red buff here. We'll just sped it up to clear a little bit, get level 2 faster. Hop on over. W level 2 is fine. E level 2 is fine. W will definitely keep you healthier. 100%. I'm kind of just looking for clear speed right now, though. We're going to auto into Q. Auto into E. You kind of want to wait till our passive is ticking down, especially at level 2. We're trying to maximize our uh, attack speed duration. On passive, we get three seconds after using an ability. So you want to click on the enemies, look at your moonlight, and uh, can kind of just see how long we have attack speed for. So if we Q auto, we see he's got moonlight on him for a little bit. We'll use E towards the end of it, but you want to make sure you E before your Q is ended because your Q only marks him for three seconds. So. If you put your E on full cooldown, you're going to have to wait 22 seconds, and that's a really, really long time. And with the Q, auto, we'll wait. Not bad. Get with the Q, and once again, we wait as long as possible, and completely leashless, we were just able to do a 320. Pretty high health, no potion needed. I'm happy with that as a whole. On blue side, I always go W level 2. On red side, I usually go E level 2 just to go over the wall real quick. I'm trying to hit good clear times. Oh, this guy's moving crazy fast. Got an auto on him. Auto into E. Auto. Alright, I don't mind taking a turret shot because I kind of have to back anyways, more or less. Ghost is so freaking good. Lower cooldown than flash. We can use it super early because the last 15 seconds... Run him all the way down. Greg is top side. York not really paying attention. He had a ward down, but didn't really react. Bullets, no flash. Sup, flash is something like 830. Greg did a full clear 28 CS. That's every camp plus scuttle. We could wait for his Krugs. They're coming up here, just like mine are. Basically, the, the second camp cleared is up at this time. I'll take this and go bot. Oh, that should have been up. That was a bug. It said it was up and then disappeared again. And now it's saying it's up again. That sucks. I got screwed there so hard. It's a really weird bug. So it shows yellow. It means 10 seconds or less. It showed gold here on the mini map. And then disappeared again. <laughs> Dang. Greg is probably going to be bot side here. I'll take his wraps real quick. I've, I've kind of overstayed on the map at this point. We've been here for quite some time. Quite some time. There's nothing really gank right now. <clears throat> Grax did see us. He has item advantage though. I'd rather not deal with him. We'll pick this up. We'll go for a dark sill and go ahead and get that as well. Oracles. I'm going to go cover my wraps. Because I think Gragas is going to head over there. Poppy's not gankable either. York's too low. We could wraps into mid. We could wraps into Krugs. Wraps into the 
uh, bugs. Diana's really good at bugs with their AoE damage on passive third auto. Clears are quite a bit faster now with some attack speed. Rip through the camps. Poppy gets the kill. Hey, Gragas. Got it. Not bad. We just need to stop him from getting five. He's gotten two so far. Oh, that's bad. I need my W. He's probably just going to walk me down here. His ability's going to be back up. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'll take it. That was wild. We actually live there. He doesn't have any ability haste yet. I guess that's a big part of why we live. So has no R. We can heal back a lot just clearing these camps. The lower on health you are, the bigger heal you get when you kill the primary monster in the camp. We use our W, block his auto. I didn't actually take auto damage there, just like on that second one. Auto Q, we'll wait for the next. There we go, straight into E. Enemy botling's kind of low. I could go do something with my ghost, as long as Lux doesn't completely scare him. Yeah, these guys are terrified. <laughs> they're, they're extremely low on health. It's warded. Diana can go over these walls. It's a little bit finicky, though, with her dash. I, I could just grab a raptor real quick. Probably get my level 6. Might be able to kill Silas. It could be dicey, though. Hey, Gragas. Pull him in with R. I'm on Ghost. Auto into Q. The Silas heal is pretty big. He's, he's scary for us to fight because I don't have Electric to even burst him. Maybe I didn't need to use my Ghost there. If we were willing to put our E on a cooldown, we definitely wouldn't need to. Use the second E when you have no other choice, kind of when they're about to get away. There, you, you can no longer reach them with your autos type of thing. Because you can always wait for your second key rotation, assuming you have that type of time. Like I said, once you put your E on a cooldown, you're in a tough spot. Such a long time. You can't dash to anything. Even if you do hit something with a Q. Bugs are back up very soon. I can't go bot right now. Maybe we look to do something mid. We can kite it out a bit, play around our abilities. Try to keep our health up as much as we can. Mm. Use an ability for the attack speed. At this point it is 70% for three seconds after using the ability. We'll buy this and this and head out. This is actually kind of awkward because I can't get my free boots in at 1030 right now because all my slots are filled. <laughs> we might have to reset to get free boots. Norse getting dominated. Poppy doesn't have much CS though, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to play mostly for full clears into ganks at this point. Otherwise, I'm just going for objectives. Diana farms extremely heavy. Her ganks really aren't that great because she doesn't have CC. So if your teammates don't have a hard CC, her ganks aren't going to do a whole lot for the most part. Gragas is mid. I can't get there in time. Question is, can we solo Silas? The answer is, I don't think so. He's a level up. He's full health. Gragas is going for grubs, though. Silas is obviously going to rotate, but he's out of mana, and I might be able to do enough damage to Gragas before he gets there. Oh, we've completely whiffed there. It's a bit of a yikes. Got it. Oh, I lost the vision even with the R on him. That sucks. We'll get him with the QE. Can't really even move here. 
I gotta just use my E to get to her, smite him down. It's a pretty good outcome, all things considered. Well played by the York. They didn't get their sweet spot grubs. He's out of mana. I think I win this. We'll ghost him down, get another point in W. Auto in the queue, yeah. I have electrocute, he doesn't. Easy fight for us. Or I have a conqueror, he doesn't. <laughs> Conquer Lethal Tempo with the two best keystones for all in fights to the death from high health. So the fact that he didn't have Conquer Lethal Tempo, and I do have Conqueror, puts him in a bad spot, particularly since he has no mana. He can just auto him to death. Every third auto is doing 123 extra damage. Against monsters, that's times three, so it's over 300. Playing super farm heavy, you're not going to have the most successful ganks on Diana Jungle. You kind of have to play farm heavy. Enemy bot lane's crazy if they try to fight this. Lux is pretty fed. Use an ability. Our W, we don't have to stand still to cast, so you'll use that a lot for breaking wards. My R is about to be up. It's a great Luxie. Here with the Q. E. Ooh. Alright, we we'll go for Gragas then. Pull him in with R. I don't know if I can catch up to him now. Q E to the minion, Q killed. Oof. Yeah, I need my free boots here. This is a little bit of a tricky situation. Or he's on a full cooldown as well. Oh, this is just bad. That sucks. I lose all my dark seals here. That stinks. Is what it is. Lose some Dark Seal stacks. Had an incredibly awkward amount of items. It might be worth not getting a glowing moat if you think you're going to have your free boots soon. Because free boots are... Realistically, a glowing moat is more like a 100 gold value item. Spending 250, having it clog a spot. Kind of sucks to have. Because I should have had my free boots there and it would have made that fight a lot easier. In every way. Here we'll push Sork Shoes and we'll start going for Lich Bane. Nice thing about free boots is it's an extra 10 movement speed, even once you get tier 2 boots. So we're actually pretty fast. Diana at 345 base movement speed, pretty high in general. We're moving 400 right now. Just uh, all free boots, really. That one movement speed bonus alone. Most champions tier 2 boots move about 380. Dragon's up, I gotta get over there. I shouldn't have come over here right now when Drag's up. Take this along the way, just because our clears are so fast. We'll head over mid. Ghost in, get the Q, E, R. I used my, uh, I was forced to kind of use my uh, second E there to finish him off. I'm on Ghost, Blitz is on Mobies though. That's why you see me try to hit this guy, is to slow him down and get him the heck off of us. I think I could actually take this from behind. We have a control ward here, even if they had a... Scuttle vision. Scuttle can't see into the pit. I used my E early because my W is about to be up and my Q will be back up. You're kind of just looking for three second chunks. That's how long your attack speed lasts for. So if you see an ability is going to be up within three seconds, you can go ahead and just use the next one. Like here, I use W, Q's up in three seconds. And we're chilling. What over for drag now? There's no point in maxing E second because the cooldown is the same cooldown as your Q. So that's why you always max Q first, W second. Since your E goes on a zero second cooldown if you land a Q on a target. You can even technically get there before your Q lands and it will still refund it as long as the Q hits that target. Like that. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I almost got an escape to the Raptors, but since they... They weren't really in here. They are streaming around the wall. Got my QE over to this champion. I could have hopped over if the Raptors were actually there. I don't know if Gragas flashed the wall for he just kind of flopped over. He had a nice little cutoff route on us there. Nice little Lux kill. Nice, nice, nice. They probably get Dragon here. Yep. Hope they don't take my blue. 
After Robinon, we will need Azanias with how bursty their team is. They have lots of squishy targets for me, though. At least the Gragas, TF. Even Blitzcrank's kind of squishy because he doesn't have magic resist. He should have gone Merc Treads this game, I think. <laughs> the Lux. Lux Nero is going to be the end of this guy. Pull them together. We can use the AoE on Q. And passive. Passive is doing wild damage now against monsters. It's doing about 450. It's 526-ish. Well, I guess that's because of the Nasher. So yeah, it is about 450. I think Diana has the fastest clears in the game once she has Nash, since she can hop the walls. She has aggressive mobility, but not very good defensive mobility, since she has to have an enemy target to dash to. There's nothing for us to fight for. You might think, well, why aren't you pushing out right now and fighting? There's no Baron, Herald, Dragon. Really, there's no turret in these areas either, so. If all my camps are up, I'm going to whip through them real quick. Might be able to kill Silas here. I'm kind of fed. Oh, he dodged that. Got my passive up. Walking down to auto Q auto. And the R. This guy just won't die. Got him. Holy crap, he almost escaped. Take Carol for a ride, baby. You can't stop me. <laughs> We're kind of fast. Oh, that was an awkward little wall hop. Harold. Whoa, Blitz can hook Harold? I didn't know that. I guess when you're outside of it, he can. I think you're unstoppable when you're in it. Kind of wild. I didn't know. I'm going to hop over the wall for these raptors here. It's yellow. It's about to turn gold. Looks like Poppy's kind of watching for it, though. Got it. Nothing there. We're tied CS with Gragas, shockingly. He has a lot of CS for a Gragas. I'm back for my Lich Bane. Lich is a huge deal. Grab a control word. Now we go straight into Robidon. Sorcery Tree isn't quite worth it on Diana. She doesn't get enough value out of it. Whenever Diana's meta, though, and her stats are in the right spot, I think Gathering Storm Absolute Focus is fine, but... Whenever she's somewhat less substantial in the meta like she is right now, you really shouldn't be going gathering absolute. I I would rather not group on York. I don't want to go down there. Plus, I'd, I would be clearing away from my own camps. I'll just stay over here. I'll go back up Smolder. See if I can get the scuttle. Someone up here trying to fight him. Trying to get to him in time. He, he, oh, I <laughs> I used my R early. Didn't even realize it. Just trying to QEW. Fat fingered the R. Wouldn't have made a difference though in that situation. Smolder dying to Gragas. The W on him. Walk him down with the QE. Had my second E, decided to hold it, just finish him with auto, so QE auto. Couldn't finish it. Even if I E'd again auto, she probably lives. My Lich Bane would have been on cooldown. I'm using an ability for more attack speed here. It's a weird little York cage. All right, we back off. We can't get anything else. They have base speed ups. So they're all spawning back in too. Just play for drag. Hmm. They have a lot of vision down over here. I would like to get the red. This is five red buffs for our team. Hey, Blitz. Oh, hey, Blitz. QE, down he goes. He really shouldn't have stepped up since they were missing inhib. They have a long, weird, drawn out fight. It's going to be bad for them. That's a great luck shield. Land my R. Got down my W. Couldn't 
quite get my W down in time, but Silas almost died there from us. As Poppy goes in and kills everybody while Smolder tries to solo Dragon. Love to see that. <laughs> I guess she didn't realize what was going on there. Gets Poppy at least. Yeah, it feels bad. I, I think we would have won that fight pretty hard if Smolder wasn't trying to solo Dragon. Silas was super low. So was the other person who was hitting me. Oh well. They won that all without Blitzcrank being there, I'm pretty sure. They won that 4v5. After Robidon, we'll get Zanya's final item. Jack shows a good thing if you're kind of the front line. Riftmaker's not bad. Void Staff is also good. They're not building much magic resist, so I don't think we'll need a Void Staff necessarily. We'll see. We shall see. Oh, nice. I found it. It's a hard... Some of Diana wall jumps are kind of tricky. You got to get really close. And if you're not close enough, she'll path the wrong way. Try to get around it. I could ghost for this. I, I don't really know who's over here, though. All right. I don't mind getting on Gragas. I'm still on my ghost, but this guy's kind of fast. QER misses as he dashes away, feels bad. I think that's a Baron opportunity here. Eh, yeah, we should really just do Baron. The Jin is missing the R's. He landed one on Blitz, but I can't really follow that in 1v3. Really just need Baron, man. While Gragas is dead, it's the easy option. There's no one to contest with Smite, and if they actually step up all the way, they'll be out of position. 300 gold apiece plus bonus stats for us and our minions. I'll stick around. I don't have a whole lot to back for other than needlessly large rod. Since I'm not level 16 yet, experience is still incredibly important for us as a caster. Having three points in R... Helps out a lot. There's nothing to fight for on the map at the moment. Dragon's up in a while. We'll solve that and get another needless. Biggest thing you're looking for in team fights on Diana is big R. It's kind of like a Malphite. So if you can slide your Q through four people, land an R on four people, you win the game. If there's never those opportunities because the enemy's spacing, sometimes you have to play the fight really slow and wait till you can get two or three people. Just throw out kind of max range cues, it just depends. Diana oftentimes is more fluid than you would think. More fluid than I'd say even Master Yi. Use our Q to check a little bit. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Pull him in with R. Q E auto. I'm just gonna hit him with an E. Okay, down he goes. Alright, we're getting with a QE. Down he goes. <laughs> Poppy sends me away. The Poppy Express. We should be able to end here with two of them dead. Wow, Poppy has Kane. I'm not gonna do a whole lot to her now. Basically, just walk her down with autos. That's about it. Good deal if I can get my passive up. So, two autos in the Q on TF. QW. Couldn't get me flashed away. That's GG's, though. What a game. What a life. Let's look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we actually did have almost the most in the game. We had a bit less than Lux. I'm surprised with that because our score wasn't very impressive. Damage taken, most on our team, not most in the game. And self-mitigated, uh, most on our team, not the most in the game. For runes high value on all, Diana can give pretty good value with Conqueror, Nash, and Lich. She may not be the strongest jungler right now, and you can't really get away with tank Diana, but still overall decent. If you enjoyed this Diana video, let me know what champion you want to see next. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.